Hi, I'm Paul, the Running Shoe Guru. This is Marathon Handbook, and this is the new Asics Super Blast. So the Super Blast is kind of an unusual shoe. It's taking a lot of the properties and features of the Super Shoes from Asics, the Metaspeed Sky, and the Metaspeed Edge, and it's putting them into a non-plated version um, to create a shoe that could be a racer trainer, some people could race in it, um, or it could be classified as a super trainer. So it's got all the technical features, the super cushioning, the new, um, the new midsole um, cushioning properties, but it's in a lightweight, high stack, um, large volume shoe that you can run in quite regularly. But first of all, let's have a look at some of the stats. So the Super Blast is coming in in the UK at £210 or $220 in the US. It weighs 240 grams or 8.5 ounces. And it's a unisex model. So sizes start from a UK 4, US 3, all the way up to a UK 12. Um, which would be a US 13. So a large span of sizes built on one last unisex model. And that's what we see a lot with racing type products. Stack height, as you can see, great big stack of cushioning here. 45 millimetres in the heel, 37 in the forefoot approximately. Um, so an eight millimetre drop. So it has the drop similar to a training shoe. So you don't have that lower, like the Metaspeed Sky, which is down at five mil. Um, for me personally, I felt that was a little bit low, felt my heel sank a little bit. Um, I prefer the Metaspeed Edge Plus. Um, but in this shoe, don't have that feeling at all. It feels much more like um, a regular trainer and some of the other carbon racers that are around. So um, basically it's a, dual density material and it's essentially we've got the ff turbo foam and the as you can see here ff blast so the blast essentially creates the the bottom layer um and it's kind of hollowed out a little bit as well inside so if i close in here you can see the turbo sitting inside it so the blast material kind of cradles it a little bit in the center of the shoe and that creates a very stable platform you can see here it's a little bit broader certainly quite broad across the forefoot here and on the front of your foot you see how it splays under the forefoot so you've got a very stable platform and it does create a very stable feel and a good push off the ride is super smooth um, personally i think this would be great with a carbon plate in or would, would i even need a carbon plate in it i certainly felt able to cruise along in it at six minute mile in and even down to 5 30s when i was doing an interval session on the treadmill earlier this week um, just very smooth, very balanced kind of feel to it. So there was no, I didn't feel I had to be running full out speed to get the um, to get the benefit of the the, the 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 kind of the new forms, shall we say, and the rocker. It had a nice toe off, and even when I was warming up at like seven thirty eight minute mile in, felt very smooth, very balanced soft enough, um, a little bit firmer than a regular trainer, but a nice responsive feel. Really was happy at any pace. And when I did pick up the, um, the pace, you know, felt like a go all day. I wasn't racing it. Um, you know, it's, it's a little bit heavier than a lot of the racers, but maybe like 40 grams. So it's, it's not a deal breaker. Um, and there are better shoes about, but for a more durable, fast running, everyday type shoe then it certainly ticks a lot of boxes um, and being a little bit cheaper i mean 210 pounds 220 dollars it's like 40 pounds 40 dollars cheaper than the carbon plated shoes again is it a deal break i'm not sure but um it's a much more versatile shoe good coverage on the outsole as well from a6 aha rubber so um plenty of coverage on the heel as well um, certainly when you're running slower, I do strike on the heel. So I, I do like that it's the, the, um, the rubber is curved up as well. So it catches right here. Certainly under like the Nike Vaporfly, 
when he finishes there. Man was scuffed in this area here, quite disappointing for a spendy shoe. Um, but plenty of coverage, so nice durable outsole to it. Upper, very simple really, it's kind of like a racing shoe upper. Single layer mesh, um, engineered kind of design, breathability fine, no issues there. Tongue, single kind of a, a thin tongue, plenty of perf perforations in it, can you see there? So nicely breathable, fits well. It's just a, a, a kind of a no frills upper really, and that helps keep the weight down. So yeah. Asics Super Blast. It's a shoe that was kind of gone under the radar a little bit. And I think that's because um, of all the, the song and dance around carbon plated shoes. But I think that's to Asics detriment because this is a really good high performance shoe. I think if you're a heavier runner, if you're a bigger guy um, or girl, then um, there's plenty of cushion in this shoe, very durable as well. So it is, it, it would make a perfect race day shoe for you. Um, you know, so, and if you just want one solution, one shoe to do speed work, tempo runs, intervals, all that kind of stuff, and race as well, great option. So, ASIC Super Blast, give it a whirl, let us know what you think. Um, please like the video and follow the channel as well. And give us some comments, what kind of shoes would you like to see reviews? Have you got any questions, got any injury questions, um, anything you'd like to see covered? Put it down in the comments below and I'll do my best to cover it in a future video. But for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.